It is possible to create a technical drawing from an assembly or from a single component. The process is still the same. Once the drawing tab is open, you have a screen showing three different views of your component or assembly. You can change the size of the views by using the scale drop down box in the sheet setup section on the top toolbar, or by clicking on the outside perimeter of one of the drawings. Using that same perimeter enables you to move the drawings to their desired location. One of the drawings will be the master and will move with the other two projected views. Dimensions can be added using its button on the top toolbar. You can either add them by selecting the bodies or selecting the dimension references. Using the Select Body option, simply click on the body then move the mouse in the direction for the desired dimension. With the dimension references selected, you can add the dimensions that won't be picked up by doing it with the bodies. Clicking one of the view's faces allows you to add a measurement just like before. You can also click on a line to get its dimension. Another way is to click on two lines or points you would like to measure then move the mouse to where you want them to be. One of the great things about drawing in the new modules of Design Spark Mechanical is that you can still change the viewing angle by holding down the middle mouse button. Also, if the arrows showing the dimensions are not clear, you can click them to change their format. You can add a general isometric view using the View section on the top toolbar. That section of the toolbar is great to show drawings of the details that would normally be impossible to see. To add a cross-section view, firstly click on the drawing you would like to section, then move the mouse onto another view to see how it looks at that point. Once you're happy, click to add. Cross-section views can also be added by selecting the reference geometry. Simply click on one of your views to section and then click elsewhere to place. A detail view can be added to enlarge a small section that would be hard to see. Click on the view then click in the middle of the section you would like to enlarge and then move the mouse away to select the size of the area. Place the new view in the appropriate location then you can add extra dimensions. A broken view can be added to cut away unimportant sections of a drawing to free up space. The direction of the cut can be changed in the options box on the left hand side. The broken out section allows you to see inside a view so you can show details that can't be seen. Do the same steps as you did before for the detail view then enter the desired depth to break out. Different sketch boundary types can be selected in the left option box. Further annotations can be added from the annotation section on the top toolbar. Geometric tolerances can be added to the drawing sheet to instruct the worker who's creating design with specific tolerances. There's a good range of different tolerance types to choose from in the options box on the left. Simply click which one you want and then click where on one of the views you would like the tolerance to be placed. Some tolerances require datums to reference from. These can be added from the annotation section. Click one of the lines of a view to add a datum to that side. The letters will increase automatically. To add a geometric tolerance that needs datums, simply click on the view then the required datums. To change the tolerance value, click on the number and change it in the box that pops up. A surface finish annotation can be added from the section to instruct the creator on the finish of the product. There are three different types to choose from as you can see. You can use notes to easily fill out the table at the bottom of the page. Simply click on the notes in the annotation toolbar then place in the appropriate location and add the text. You can add a bill of materials for a product with components added from ModelShare like the Raspberry Pi I created. Once in the drawing sheet, click in the drop down menu for the bill of materials and select how detailed you like it to be.